Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ray the Rookie. And you know there's another dose of story time Sundays. So for this story, I'm gonna talk about my experience in high school. Basically, we're gonna start with the drama club. Um This is gonna be like a, a series where I'm gonna talk about certain experiences that I had in high school, but for now we're gonna start with drama. Because that's what I love to do. I love to put on plays, I love to act. And I think that's what kind of also brought me to YouTube because I love creating content. And I love seeing people smile. I just like saying people, you know, have something to do when they're at work or have something to look forward to. So that's why I kind of started this whole YouTube thing. So, But that'll be for a later video. Anyway, drama. How did it all start? Man, I did, I started drama when I was in middle school, right? And I, I fell in love with it. I enjoyed playing as different characters. Um, you know, just getting to their story, just kind of living their life, you know, and um, it just felt great to just be someone. I remember the first play I ever did was, uh, it was like a collection of great uh, stories. So like, um, I played a ghost, um, I played, uh, I helped play Cerberus, like we did, um, we did um, Euripides, or, or, yeah. Orpheus, when he went to go save his wife, we did um, Hercules and his, the task he had to do to atone for killing his wife and kid. Um, we did. What else did we do? We did. Oh, when Persephone got taken by Hades, and I think we did the last one. We did is um, uh, it had something to do with Zeus and like Zeus. Uh, no, it was Odysseus. Then we did like parts of Odysseus where he went and he. Um, met with Hades and Hades sent him back home. So we just we did a lot. It was fun and even though I wasn't like a major role, I did enjoy being part of it, you know? Just meeting people who had who were like minded. We you know, we love to act, we love making funny voices and you know, I am Shakespeare, you know, things like that. We we enjoyed having moments like that. And then um so I did that for like all my years in middle school. Then I went to high school and guess what happened? I actually wasn't going to do drama because I was going to focus more on, on my, you know, trying to get extracurriculars, trying to do, like, newspaper club, you know, um, National Honor Society. I was trying to do, like, you know, stuff where you put on college um, applications. Yeah, they, they want to see drama, but do they, just do colleges really care about drama? Let's be honest. Like, but I ended up getting sucked back in. My English teacher, he was the drama uh, director, and he's like, hey, you know, you should try it for, for drama. And I'm like, you know what? I did drama when I was in middle school. Might as well give it a try. So I did it. And I'm so glad I did. I met a great group of people um, that I still, like, if I see them, like, I still have love for them today. And we, we put on plays. The first play we did was the um, uh, the Complete History of America, A Bridge. That was amazing. That was so much fun. Um, and the, the next, that was freshman year. And then sophomore year, we did um, a Midsummer's Night's uh, Dream. That was that was really fun. Um, junior Junior year, I didn't um, I didn't partake in uh, drama, which kind of crushed me. Um, for those who are in high school, you know what I'm going to. And even those who pass it, you know that um, Junior is probably one of the hardest years you have in your life. Um, you got SATs, you got to search for a college, you gotta get scholarship essays out, you gotta, you know, make sure your GPA is high. There was so much things being thrown at me that I didn't even get the chance to do drama, like act in a role, but I, you know, I went in, you know, hanged out with the crew, you know, helped with some set designs, and it was fun, you know, I got to do a lot, and even though I wasn't in the place, and I wish that um, I was, but you know, Priorities. We all have to, you know, set aside priorities. But senior year, uh, I got right back in it, you know. Your last year, you're basically done. I was already accepted into college. I knew where I was going. I knew what I was going to do, you know. So I was done, you know. So I said, you know, drama, I could do it. And I did. And it was one of the best uh, times I ever had because being a senior while you're in drama is like one of those award like it's like an honor, you know. It was one of the greatest honors ever. And um, I forgot we we didn't do we did we did a um, a Shakespearean play. It was really great. It was fun. Uh, it was it was um, I want to say Hamlet, but I'm not too sure. No, I think it was Macbeth. 
you know, it's been a while, so, yeah, and it was a lot of fun, like, what people don't understand is, like, drama is one of those things where you can express yourself, you can be whoever you want to be, you can pretend to act like someone else, it's not different from being an actor, you know what I'm saying, and it's just, it just feels refreshing to step out of your own shoes and step into someone else's shoes to understand why they do things to do to understand like their mindset like everyone thinks um Macbeth was a villain but when you really think about it was he really wrong he just wanted to rule his kingdom to the best of his ability yeah he made mistakes of course all leaders make mistakes but is he was he crazy for wanting complete and under control how much of us go through life wanting control you know, so like we, we were able to to put ourselves in these people's shoes and understand, like, man, like, I I didn't know Macbeth felt that way. Like the inner monologue, the inner thoughts of someone. Like when you ask, when you look at actors, right, and they say they have to they have to create this character. For example, um, Michael B. Jordan just did Killmonger. If you haven't seen Black Panther, I definitely go see it. It was great. Um, but he said in order to become Killmonger. He had to become that character. He had to separate himself from people. He had to disappear for months, become incognito, like become an isolationist. And the thing is, when you do that, you become a better actor. See, what people don't understand with drama, right? And the beauty of drama is, if you know your role, right? If I'm supposed to play um, a murderer, right? Don't actually go out there and do murders, but watch crime movies, watch, you do your research. Just like a doctor does their research before they, they, they examine a, a patient, an actor does the same thing. We do our research. You know what I'm saying? Like when when I um, when we did the complete history of, of America Bridge, right? I went back. I did some research. I watched and see like what what originally happened in the Wolf War of 1812, or in you know the whole Nixon scandal, or the, you know all of that, because. I wanted to understand the time period. I want to understand what was going through people's minds, through people's minds, and I wanted to bring to life their story. I wanted to bring to life the scene. You know what I'm saying? You don't go to a movie and like you see actors. They don't just read their lines. No, they bring to life this thing, this this moment in history or time or in the story. They bring it to life. You know, and. I think because of drama, I was able to um, learn how to express myself, how to, you know, you know, it helped me about public speaking, honestly, because, you know, you, you're going in front of, the, like, crowds, like, I'm talking about, we, we used to have, like, people, like, we sold out, like, all our systems, and so I'm talking to a crowd of not only my peers, but of their parents, of, like, you know, you know, school board administrators, like, even, like, some state people would come, you know. So I was in front of a lot of people and I had to you know, go out there and perform. So it kind of helped boost my confidence. You know, drama taught me to, you know, not take a lot of things for granted because I realized early that um, a lot of these stories that we're doing, and a lot, of, a lot of the people I met while doing drama, everyone goes through their own little problems. Everyone has their own story to tell. And for me to add on more stress and more problems doesn't solve anything. You know? You got to, we have to understand that when it comes to um, people that, I feel like everyone should try drama. I feel like she should be a staple in school. Kids should be able to act out any character that they feel like, express yourself. I feel like nowadays, that's why YouTube and like all these public platforms are going crazy because no one knows how to properly express themselves. And not only that, these these, these avenues, these, these places of, you know, social constructs limits our abilities to say what we want to say. You can't be open because someone who's never experienced it may get upset. Or someone who's never seen or, you know, had this kind of mindset won't understand it. But that's what drama's about. The thing is, you may not understand exactly what's going on, but as you listen and as you see the body language, as you hear someone talk, as you see someone's eye contact and their eye movements, you begin to slowly understand social cues. You begin to understand 
oh, maybe, you know, this person is doing this for a reason. Or maybe this is happening for a reason. And that's what makes it beautiful. And that's what makes drama beautiful. You know? And so I'm glad I did drama in high school. I, I met a lot of cool people. Um, you know, I had a lot of great experiences. One of my best friends, um, we did, like, we did, we did plays together, and it was awesome, like, you know? And I feel that everyone should have that experience. You should, you know, even though it not, may not be, like, a big, dramatic Broadway play, try something. Go say, you know, have your friends say, yo, let's, let's just try and let's make a video, and let's just act out these scenes. Let's just play around. Because it really does help you express yourself, and it really helps you to grow as an individual. So, you know... Granted, the girls were pretty high, so, you know, your boy was always there, you know. Let's be real, come on, man, you know. If it was all dudes, I still would have done it, but it would have been kind of boring because, you know, you need that female. You know, but, and uh, it's funny because um, I say that because one of the plays I had to play a female. Yes, I did. You know? And it was hilarious because, like, you know, in Midsummer Night's Dream, there's a play within the play. So I ended up being flute also. Besides the other character, so Fu he has to dress up like a girl, and it was it was like basically my character dies. So like uh, I had to wear a dress. So what I did was I put like apples, I put an apple and orange like in the in the bra area. And what I did is when I died, I popped them out, so people would laugh. It was hilarious. It was cute. Everyone loved it. I wonder. I think I still. I still might have that video. I might tag it at the end of this if I still have it. But yeah, guys, like, I'm glad I did drama. Drama was awesome. For those who watch it who were in drama, yo, yo, shout out, yo, shout out your favorite moment, man. And for those who are in the drama club, you keep doing your thing. And uh, just know that, you know, you got my support. And for real, yo, if you haven't tried drama, you haven't tried acting out like somebody, Go ahead, bro. Try something it. important. Like, people at work hate me now because all I do is the Mbaku scene from Black Panther. I always go, uh, uh, because for years we have watched and waited from the mountains while your technological advances have been overseen by a child who scorns and mocks traditions. And now you want to turn over the nation. To this prince who could not even save his own father. We will not have it. I said, we will not have it, okay? I embark you, Adichibari challenge. I accept your challenge. Oh, glory to honor. But you know, the thing like that, like, you learn, you, you learn a lot from drama. You learn how to you know, make certain accents, how to talk a certain way, how to, you know, bring emphasis to a point. Like, if I think the train is coming right now, you know what I'm saying? You know that, okay, he's serious. Like, he's, he's putting, he's stressing out syllables. Or even as something as simple as, like, you know, I'm really scared, but I don't know what to do. Like, you know, you, got, you learn voice manipulations. Like, I can yell really loud, or I can... Be as quiet as a baby mouse. But you learn those things from dramas. You learn a lot of very uh, useful skills, I think. So rather than have this video go extra long, um, I'm gonna cut it off here. This is just one part of the, my high school drama, my high school series. Yo, there's a lot of crazy stories coming, bro. A lot of crazy stories. So tune in next Sunday. It's the same old story time Sundays. Man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's about to get wild. You know? So, I love y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out that new intro that I put out. Let me know if you guys like this intro. You know? Because when I thought of the whole Raider Rookie kind of scene, immediately, I'm a big Soul Leader fan. The first person who came into my, like, yo, Keelik Run. My man had two weapons. You know what I'm saying? And um, he has, like, my hair is sort of like that. You know what I'm saying right now? So. And I, co I, I, cos I want to cosplay him. I almost did last year. But uh, I might do this year. I, I might. 
Shout out to people in Jersey. If you go to Anime Next, you know, hit me up, hit me up. I'm going to be doing live vlogs. So if you want to be in the video, let your boy know. But this is Raider Ripley, guys. And I hope you enjoyed my story. Oh, and I have the I have the sheets for you guys, so don't worry. For those who watch my videos, you know what I'm talking about. But I love y'all. Peace.